what's good everybody welcome back to my channel and yeah man my name is Naledi thank you so much to everybody who has been subscribing and I just see that a lot of people just watch and don't want to subscribe just by the way it's free hey I know go by the subscription subscribe like you don't pay okay so you can tell by the title of this video that I'm going to be answering frequent frequently asked questions you know the struggle of asked I mean, you can say ask, Mara. The past tense, asked. Yo. Oh. Oh, question, where did you study computer science? Okay, so I studied computer science um, at the University of Johannesburg. So, do software engineers earn a decent salary? So, it depends on what you define to being a decent salary. I mean maybe your decent salary is 50k um for studies and you know so our decent salary whatnot ideas are definitely different so i wouldn't say it's a decent salary or it's not a decent sal salary but what i can say is it can be better but okay it is what it is um it's the same thing with the other people complain like we want more, we want more. So <laughs> yeah, and it's just that with us, like I've never heard like a march um of um software engineers demanding more pay. Yeah. So I don't know, I guess it's like fair. I guess it's fair. I guess it's it's just fair. And um if you want to know more, so you can check out like online and just go to, on to Google and just check out like average salary pay for a software developer or software engineer um so there's like amazing website like offerzan that give you a rough estimate which is an estimate um what is the thing that we did App approximation it's you know it's approximation it's not um spot on so i guess it's basically one of those things that you get from like different studies where you um ask people give people surveys to answer and then you like combine the whole thing and then you do the thing and then you calculate and you think this is the average but you've not done the study on the rest of you know software engineers or like maybe it's a study done on on a group of software engineers um so but what i can tell you is based on that study um cape town you know developers earn more junior developers who are in, based in cape town and more compared to junior software developers in Johannesburg. I'm so sorry. I'm not going to add those stats because uh, it's too much work, guys. Yeah, but you get the drill. So places like Glassdoor, um, Offerzan, and I forgot the others. They do give you like, you know, such things. So, yeah, website for um, software engineer jobs okay this was not a question but like a request sort of okay so what advice i could give you is that if you're looking maybe you're still in your third year so depending on which institution you go to so i went to uj so we would have like career fairs we would have like different companies coming through and advertising you know the jobs that they have or the vacancies that they have for like junior tons and tons of graduate programs a lot of companies do offer that from your banking sector your insurance sector your finance your um it's just tons lot okay so you can check that out um or you can just go it graduate programs and then it will give you a list of companies um, what you can also do, just get yourself onto LinkedIn and pretty much put on your CV and whatnot. And then you will also get, you know, adverts on pretty much um, all the jobs or companies that are, you know, hiring people with your skill level. And you will also have recruiters like sending you messages telling you about the group great opportunities that they have so it's not really that hard and also one of the other you know great things that you can do for yourself register yourself on pnet this is by no means any sort of advert they don't pay me this is just me just playing you guys check out pnet register yourself there that's where agencies reside okay 
so you will probably get like an agent that can help you so agents work together with the companies maybe companies are going to brief agents and be like yo i'm looking for a junior software engineer and then because you're registered there then they want to contact you look at your cv then contact you so um it shouldn't be that difficult switching from a different degree to computer science okay switching from a different degree to computer science should it be difficult is it doable is it possible okay so i'm going to interpret this the way i i just read it okay so it there's a difference between career switch and a degree switch maybe you are an astronaut and now you want to get yourself into programming it could work i mean it could work given that you have a bit of like programming ex programming experience um or you have an idea then it could work but normally if you are coming from a marketing background and then you want to join programming i guess i don't know much on that but you would need some formal certification to prove to the employer that you are able to write code or you know what it is that you are talking about or the kind of skills that you claim to have, if you get what I'm saying. But in terms of degree switch, so if you are doing marketing and you want to move to BSc computer science, then you will need to start from first year. Yeah, that but so how it works right um from any degree from a mathematics degree it would be not too far off so if so and now i'm talking about uj i don't know about other institutions like how their models are structured okay so if you're in uj and you're probably doing a mathematics degree and you want to switch over to computer science it shouldn't be that difficult because already in so the computer science degree has mathematics so what you can do for yourself you can either add informatics or add computer science and then it will lessen the number of so obviously if you did mathematics then chances are you might have done computer science in first year so what you can do is if you have not done computer science at all maybe you replace computer science with physics i think you do have that option then it will lessen the number of modules that you will take so they will check if there is any modules that they can credit you for if for instance because already if you've already done mathematics there's no need of doing it again then you get credit for that and then now you have lit you know um less number of modules that you will need to take so my thing is you can move from any stream or industry and join the it industry so it's really possible just push yourself take some courses online udemy and then which languages do you use which programming languages do you use so i find that question too often very difficult to answer because in which context i'm a huge believer that you cannot okay we are different right so whatever i'm talking about right now is my opinion and my opinion only um it's not someone else's it's not general it's not most people it's just me okay me alone me alone okay so how i would do it or how i do it it depends on what it is that you are doing so if you're building a web application i'd be someone who would lean more on asp.net um c sharp so sp.net is a framework that has all the libraries and tools that you will need to build that web applica application so it uses f f sharp c sharp and visual basics so i personally would lean more on that side um if you're doing like small things that require back end and then i would use php for instance if you're building a website and then it needs to send an email i would use something as simple as php okay not as simple but like i would use php if you are you know doing something as validating your front end something i would use javascript uh, so for me it's really it's neither here nor there 
um, if I would want to build a game, I would, pre you know, preferably use Java. Um, anything that is web-based, I would use C-sharp. Anything that is like back-end sort of, um, you know, I don't know, game-ish, I would then use Java. So that is my answer. Okay, so is there any jobs in computer science? Yo, <laughs> there is tons of jobs in computer science. Um, computer science is very much broad it's 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 huge um, so computer science is such a very very you know big um industry in south africa and the rest of the world i mean technology is <laughs> the future you know sometimes it even pains me when people ask me that like is it not obvious guys like and just now there was like a new app that was developed okay not now but like there were couple of apps that were coming through and coming up and people were starting to use due to covid um applications like zoom i didn't even know that there was an app called zoom until the pandemic and then there's applications like um i forgot the new one that wanted to replace whatsapp <laughs> yeah and, and and such things and then people still come up with like different ways to be you know improve people's lives technologically technologically the number of social media accounts are growing with young kids growing getting new cell phones creating um what you call creating social media accounts and the more there's people then there's like too much load on on the systems and more um optimization that needs to be done new ways you know to combination to um, share information to you know like which will need more software engineers if you ask me um, every single day um, there's more people in the world there's more people you know starting businesses they need um, administrative um, applications and new companies are coming up um, offering those services what do they need software developers so okay so the last question is not a question but like i've got that i've gotten that a lot in the past that people are saying that they're doing their third year and they're trying to you know apply for jobs but they cannot write code <laughs> that's a bit scary like that's a bit scary because i'm thinking to myself so what were you doing the whole time Okay, let me not judge because I mean, if you go to UJ and I mean, it's possible you can copy, you can. Yeah. Whew. So we used to have like two practical assignments for informatics and computer science every single week. So it makes me wonder, like, how would you make it? But I'm thinking those people who copy, change code and whatnot and whatnot. But in that case, you are really screwed. I, I don't know what it means when you say you can't code. I honestly genuinely don't know what it means but i mean there's people who generally get away with anything in this world so if you could be the like one of the lucky ones but um it's not guaranteed um so okay so that also it would depend on whether you like coding so there's like i cannot code but i love coding then that is like when you need to look at your life choices and make a different choice and there's also a thing of i don't like coding i just got into it stumbled onto it i don't know um someone forced me to do it or it was the only um um degree that i got accepted for or for whichever reason so there's like different types of you know roles that are in software engineering or computer science or info not really computer science but in software engineering you can you know do like mini courses in being a scrum master being a product owner in being a business analyst you can be a project manager manage you know different projects within the it space so you do not necessarily have to write code you can be a tester you can be you know there's many options for you necessarily need to write code if you don't know how to write code or you don't know how to so quality assurance is also one of the best ways to get yourself in and, and still do the things. There's like short courses that you can take. And I mean, if you have a BSc degree and you want to be a tester, I mean, I mean, as a beginner, surely it shouldn't be that difficult. You know, you just get trained 
on the necessary things that you know if you get what i'm saying or you can also be an it auditor so it auditors are all about governance and laws and all of that you don't need to know how to write code so there's plenty of you know roles that you can fulfill as um an it person or a qualified computer scientist or software engineer whatever okay so that's it from me so hope you enjoyed the video and please do subscribe if you haven't like the video if you've liked it um put your comment tell me what you think if you disagree oh well that's just you i mean still you know put your points and you know let's talk about it thank you so much for watching and goodbye